next technique we're going to look at is front bear hug. This has several variations to it and as the name says it's for a front bear hug. Your arms are free so you have the use of them. These techniques will work whether your feet are on the ground or if they've lifted you up in the air. Now the A variation, what we're going to do is we're assuming you're standing on the ground. You're going to step left, grab the hair, pull the head back, rake the eyes, half fist the throat. Again on A. Left foot steps to about the 12 o'clock position, maybe 11. Pull the head back, rake the eyes, half fist to the throat. Now if they don't have any hair, you can use the eyes or grab them by the nose. Again, rake, half fist to the throat. The B version and all the rest of them, we're going to step back. On the B, we're going to take the back knuckles of our hands and hit the mastoid part of the head. And we're just going to whip through it until they let go or soften up, loosen up enough that you can do something else. So B is just for back knuckles. Just kind of remember B for back knuckles. So we have A, you step around, pull, rake, half fist the throat. We have B, which is your back knuckles to the back of the mastoid. Now just remember, you're going to have to kind of move your head side to side as you do that so that the head doesn't come and hit you. C version is our fist number one right to the small or base of the skull. As we step back, we're going to cradle the head so it can't go anywhere when we have a base. So we're just going to hit that. Hit your hand to practice so that you get used to hitting something. So the hand goes and don't until it hits something instead of guessing where the head is. So we cradle the head, step back, and then just strike to the small of the neck. The D version, same similar. We're going to step back, but we're going to use our middle knuckle fist go right here into the ear, between the ear and the mandible, right there in that mandible nerve, and you're going to grind it in like a screwdriver. So let's go through A through D again. We have A, rake, half fist. We have B, you can step back either foot, it's your back knuckles. We have C, which is the cradle of the head, fist number one to the back of the neck or base of the skull. And then we have D, which is your screwdriver, right into the mandible nerve of the jaw. Okay, last time through. Step forward, pull the hair, rake, half fist. No power pattern, just make sure you're in a proper fighting stance. B, step back left or right, it doesn't really matter, whichever is comfortable for you. And back knuckle strikes to the back of the mastoid. C version, cradle the head, Fist number one, right to the base of the skull. C version, right to the ear, and grind it in. Now there again, B, C, D, it doesn't matter which foot you step back with. It's just whichever is more comfortable for you. They come up and grab. So obviously they can't punch. So you're going to step around them, grab them by the hair. And if they don't have hair, grab them by the nose or the ears. Grab something. Rake the eyes as you pull them back, expose that throat, and then half fist them right into the windpipe. Okay, again, on A, they grab, step, rake, half fist the throat. Okay, the B version, they come in and they grab. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to step back, try to give us a little bit of room. We're going to use our back knuckles, and what you want to do is try to hit right through here, right into the mastoid area, and you're just going to whip through both sides going past your head. That's important, make sure you don't hit yourself. So as they come in and grab, you're gonna kind of weave to the left as you hit them right and weave to the left the other way as you hit them the other way. Just kind of get your head out of the way, okay? Those are B, so they just kind of whip back through the, the back mastoid area. The C version, we're gonna take fist number one and we're gonna strike it to the middle of the back of the neck. So as he comes up and grabs, we're gonna cradle Step back and just strike, turn him around a little bit, just strike right there into that area. Okay, again, they grab, cradle the head, and strike back as hard as you can. Making sure you cradle that head, because if you don't, the head's going to pop forward and hit you. The C version, this is our eagle beak fist. This time we want to put it right between the jaw and the ear, right where those two meet is where you're going for. So as they grab, we're going to cradle the head so we have a base so we can't move the head away. 
You make her eagle beak fist and you put it right there and then you just turn, screw it in like a screwdriver. So you just grind it in and just like Dee did, they move very quickly. Again, cradle. Right? And there you go. You can step back or you can step forward on these. It doesn't really matter. It's the same. Also, if your feet are in the air, they'll still work. So one more time, we'll go through all of them real quick. A version, they grab, break the eyes, half fist the throat. The B version, step back, just whip through the mastoid area. C option, they grab, cradle, fist number one right to the back of the neck. And the last one, the D, they come in, the screwdriver with the eagle's beak fist. And those are front bear hugs A through D.